Hey guys, um, I want to teach you how to make something like this, some um, some snowy scene, maybe even it's maybe this is already like wet snow, right? We have tire trucks around it, and um, some shoe prints and all that good stuff. So um, it's actually way easier than I thought. The process of making like maps like this is, yeah, what well, that takes time and. Um, but inside Blender, it's not a very difficult material or anything like that. So, um, yeah, let's just go here. By the way, if you want to get... Um, we're going to start with just my maps that you can get from my website. Um, those will look like this. Uh, these two. Like, literally, these are two two maps. That's it. Like these. And these are almost the same. Some color difference in here. So, uh, we've got a color and our snow. Let me re rename this a little bit. Snow this disp displacement this is our displacement map and I don't know why my lower score oh because I have an Italian uh, thing well whatever so um, you have this displacement map and a color map that's it you can get these maps by the way at my website um, here 3d that's cool uh, 3d 3d school here you gotta log in of course then get your courses go to courses here and you can choose um, well that one is not added yet but it will be here okay and it probably has a price on it but you don't have to pay for it really you only have to log in and then start the first um, the first video and on the top right you can actually download it okay so uh, you don't have to enroll or anything it's free trust me um, so that's all how you get these two okay and you can also watch these videos at uh, my website, of course, you don't have to stay on YouTube. So, um, yeah, that's how you get those. First thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna delete this cube, and we're gonna get a plane in here. Let's scale it by, let's do four. And we go here into edit mode, and we subdivide it one, two, three, four, four or five times. And the only thing why we subdivide it here instead of our subdivision surface is because you can see that this rounds it off, right? And if you have less and less subdivisions, then it will just be a circle and we don't really want that. So this subdivision we will put up at like, um, I think render will be like seven, six or seven, and our view will be, um, I don't know, whatever you can kind of handle. Like, it, I gotta be honest, it takes a little bit of uh, strength for your computer. But uh, we really need some subdivisions to make this scene look good, okay? And this map that I have, those are of like 8,000 by 8,000 maps. So um, I might also put a 4,000 by 4,000 in there. But yeah, we really need some, um, you know, pixels for this. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Let's create a displacement modifier. And get our a new texture in here. And once you create a new texture, you can go here into the texture tab and open our displacement. So go with snow and our displacement map will be here. And you can see what the displacement does. Um, I might show it like this next to it. So this is our displacement. What you can see here is the lighter it is, the higher it is in our scene, right? So it's very white, and um, that shows how high it is, and the darkness shows how deep it will be, okay? And this is, of course, uh, way exaggerated. I can't say that word, but um, you know what I mean. And so we put our strength a little bit down. 0 0.02 or something like that will be great. See, it already changed a lot. Let's also give it a smooth shading. So just click on W and shade smooth cool and you can see that um, if I play around with these subdivisions that it doesn't give us any detail when we go very low right and the higher we go the more detail we get and all that good stuff so if this is too deep for you you can always go to uh, point one uh, zero one five something like that play it just play a little bit around with that it's not um, yeah just play a little bit around and um, yeah just get your render subdivision a bit up so you when you render it, then you will actually see some uh, noticeably nice details. Cool. So that's it. Nah, <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs>
but it's actually we're already like a uh, like very far so let's go here in render engine and go to cycles because we're going to do this with cycles not with ev and create a material now we're going to add our other map so let's get an image section here bam color goes into the base color and we can open our snow color right if you want you can uv unwrap this at a lower uh, subdivision level and um yeah like right now it already seemed seemed to be like uv unwrapped nicely um so this color what does it do i'll show you when we go into materials here you can see our asphalt below and um, some tire tracks are deeper than other ones so here you have a, a lot of asphalt already showing and it's probably like that this car drove over it like uh you know 10 minutes before and then it snowed a little bit over it again and we also have the bit with the food tracks you know so um yeah that's a bit how i created it in photoshop i'll show you later how i actually made this map like i show you some tips and tricks and stuff but um yeah so um when we look at snow so let's look here let's just google snow image and when we want to make our like material when we look at snow something like this you can see i got this from blender guru i think and that every snowflake it's is its own entity right it's not like snow is just one solid thing no it's like a lot of just like a sand it's like a lot of separate pieces so you have some reflections that are there and some not because every snowflake has its own like angle and yeah some angles it reflects very well at you and some angles it don't it doesn't so that's why we have different sizes and different um you know at different times it just pops up the the nice little reflections so we gotta fake this and a nice way to do this is with a well let's first get our Voronoi texture in here and when we look here from the fact value oh no color value sorry into the base color and i'm gonna put this intensity to cells you can see that it has a lot of colors and these colors actually um, are the same kind of colors that we are used in our normal maps so we're actually gonna use this to our advantage we're gonna get here a texture coordinate and we're gonna use the object into the factor okay and now we get a uh, glossy shader and because it is um, we have this normal map here we want to put this in a normal right so the further one we're gonna use as a normal map but to control this we need a normal map in between here okay so this is just to control the the height and uh, the, well the strength of this normal map cool so we're gonna put this together with a mix shader and we're gonna mix this with a translucent shader here and um, let's put the fact of the Vaudenois inside the fact of the mix shader and let's make it a little bit more glossy than 0.5 let's put it at 0.2 and we really want to play around with the scale and the strength but maybe if we just gonna add this so i'm gonna add a add shader and i'm gonna add these two together and then i'm gonna look a little bit our at our material you can see here that these reflections that you can see that they are huge right and this is because our scale and our strength are totally different so um let's put the strength up like let's put it at 10 and yeah well you can change you can look a little bit around inside this so if you have it at zero you scroll up a little bit and you can see that at some points they the more reflect to you and the, like the higher you go and it goes back lower again so i just find a little like it seemed to be like 10 is a nice uh, middle ground to have some nice reflections and this skill is of course way off um i think i did it at a thousand and then you have very small reflections right um so that's cool 
and you will only see him in certain kind of lights because my HRI is quite low. Um, like, does have a lot of like light to reflect. So if you have a very high um, light source or a very like um, like a lot of lamps or whatever, you might want to readjust this to uh, your liking. Okay. What I want to do though is I'm gonna duplicate this. And oh, I haven't found a way yet to duplicate and move it uh, at the same time. And I'm going to move this a little bit down. This object goes into here. And I'm going to make this one even smaller. So 200 or 2000. Well, what is it? 2 million. Scale of 2 million. Or is it point zero zero? I don't know. 2000, I think. So this is a thousand, this is two thousand. We're gonna use a mix shader in between here. And this mix shader. I'll go, yes. So with this mix shader, we can choose do we want more of the small ones or more of the big reflections, okay? So if you have it all the way to the right, you can see that you have all the small reflections, which looks, which looks very nice. We have it all the way to the left. You can see what we had before, and those are the bigger reflections. So I chose uh, point A to have a little bit more of the small reflections and a little bit less of the bigger reflections. Um, yeah, so that's um, how we did this material and all that stuff. Um, you can also maybe even put a bump map in here. I personally didn't do it, but um, yeah, you can just get a noise texture in here. Um, but I'm here. I'm gonna get a bump, and then you of course have to change. Like the scale will be hundred fifty thousand or the hundred fifty. This will go into the height because it's not a normal map, and do the strength like very low, like point zero five something like that, and then uh, put this normal into the here. Um, I personally didn't do this. But yeah, you can see what it does right now to my scene. But yeah, you, you can choose whatever. Like I didn't do it and uh, maybe it looks cool. I didn't uh, try it yet. So this is our material, right? If you want to go here into the render, we can see it takes a while that we don't really have any nice lighting in here yet. So I take my, my um, HRIs, which we're gonna make right now. So go here into world map. Here from object, we go to world. Then we use nodes, right? We want a HRI in here. So let's get an environment texture. And I'm gonna open the Tucker Wreck. Okay, uh, this will also be included on my website. But I also wanna show you guys something where I got it from. So I got it from um, HRI Haven. This is where I got them from. And they are free. Can you see? Free. You don't need anything. You can just download them and yeah, it's free. So they only have a, a Patreon. So if you really like what they do and yeah, support them, right? So you get free textures and HRIs. It's really cool what they have around here. So look at this shit. Looks epic. Also HRIs. I will include mine, but um, yeah, look look around here and just try some new stuff, okay? They uh, they really deserve that. So I got this uh, Tucker Wreck in here, and what I want to change though is um, when you go here into the world, we have to change this ray, uh, no, this here um, into the settings, volume to multiple importance, okay? That's the only thing I would change here. Maybe max bounce a little bit up, but yeah. This seems cool. Or not, not max bounce, I mean map resolution. So if you go to manual, our map resolution of our HDRI is 4K, right? And this is 1K. So you just do um, times 2, 4096. That will be the map resolution that we use. Cool. So, yeah, <laughs> right now, um, just get your camera at a nice angle and you can start rendering. It's that easy. See? So this is our HRI that you can see around here. Um, 
Yeah, it's literally just like clicking your camera, move the bit around where you want it, look camera to view. I don't know, I'm just gonna let's just do this very quick. Uh, uh, but yeah, you, you saw my uh, end result, right? It's this. So, yeah, just uh, play a little bit around with these things. I put this way higher, by the way. I think I put it at 750. But yeah, we can try to render it a little bit. I don't know how fast it will go right now. Because we have so many subdivisions, it will take a little bit longer to um, to load it up and all that stuff. But um, yeah, so you can already see it here getting created. And yeah, it's that easy, really. So I'll just make this, I guess, a two-part series. In the next part, I will explain a little bit how I made these maps. So you can make these maps uh, yourself, OK? So I'll see you guys there.